I want to get in uh, Dr. Ghosh as well. He was part of the NASA's Mars Exploration Rover mission. And Dr. Ghosh, uh, before we get into the bigger picture and what really this means, not just for India, but for the rest of the world as well and all other space agencies, I want to ask you about this particular mission. You know, the final 15 minutes, the minutes of terror as uh, they're called. What can go wrong? How can we prepare? Is there anything that can be done now? Or is it just a wait and watch game as to what happens in those 15 minutes? So first, you know, I, I will I definitely note that, you know, how exciting it is to be this moment, how exciting it is. See, and I've been part of um, multiple Mars landings from Mars Observer to Curiosity to Perseverance to the Mars Exploration Rover. See, it's fascinating. You know, everybody's talking about horizontal velocity, vertical velocity, component, parameter space. So it's fascinating. It's like a festival and everybody's so interested. There's so many youngsters watching and, you know, it is kind of these moments which perhaps make a difference to your entire life if you're a youngster watching. The answer to your question. So, you know, um, the travel time for, for light signal is probably 1.52 seconds between, between the um, 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 l l rover and here the lander rover and, and Earth, right? So if you were trying to control, so you have to kind of get the data, find out what's wrong, and then send a signal back. Mm -hmm. That's too risky. And, and for Mars, where, where my most of my experience is, it's impossible because uh, the travel time is, say, 20 plus 20, 40 minutes, and the landing time is just seven minutes. So by the time you receive a signal that something is wrong with the rover, it's already crashed, mm -hmm. um, uh, right? So here, there is nothing that you can do. So since they have taken the call of going ahead, um, they must be fairly confident that, you know, um, all is well. And so there's nothing. So we don't even know what's in, in, in that code, right? Mm. Uh, and only the extra people know. Yes. But even then, they cannot do anything about it. And just as we cannot do anything, we have to watch and wait for the final signal. So it's a very hard time. But, you know, at the same time, um, you know, it, it has made the whole nation think and be involved. And, um, uh, and it's the same for a NASA mission as well, um, that, you know, people are so um, involved and curious and rooting. So so let's hope everything goes right. But um, there is very little that we can do for even the commanders. I think they have sent the final uplink to the uh, thing and they have to wait back for the communication back. Yes. Yes, but we've had one previous experience from which we've obviously learned. Uh, we have my colleagues also joining us here. Harish uh, continues to be with us, Shristi and Purnima also with me. But Dr. Ghosh, I want to ask you this. We've learned from what happened in 2019. ISRO was very confident that uh, all of the uh, things that went wrong back then during Chandrayaan 2, all of them have now been rectified. And this is going to be the moment when we actually do attempt or do successfully make that uh, soft landing on the lunar surface. But I want to ask you this, what is uh, really going to be the issue perhaps that we face this time around as well? Because the south side of the moon, the dark side as it's called, it's a tricky uh, lunar surface, which is why irrespective of how many missions we've seen across uh, many countries that have sent to the moon, many few or perhaps none have actually attempted to land on that side of the moon. See, I, I think it is less about the South Pole than about the actual soft landing. The, the parameter space of engineering parameters that have to execute in one after the other at the right time and sense the uh, it has to go right in sequence. Say, say you have you're starting out on a long journey from the from Delhi to say a small um, hotel in California. So you have multiple steps, and if each each step doesn't, if one flight is late and then the other um, your accommodation at New York is disrupted. So here, think of it as an automated sequence. If there, if there are various stages for the landing, right? If one is um, a little shorter duration, longer duration, doesn't sense the ground at the right time, is not horizontal, not vertical, um, 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 the landing legs um, have to withstand the landing. Um, the propulsion system has to... So there are multiple points, you know. And, and of course, you have to understand the ISRO folks have probably tested everything. But again, this is the moon. You, have, you can only test on Earth. And yes. from my experience, I try not to be too happy or to be too sad. Because I have seen the first mission after I landed in the US was a failure. 
the second was a success the third was a success the fourth was a failure the fifth was a success and sixth onwards it was all success so i have seen very real failures and um, and see <laughs> a failure for uh, you know you it doesn't mean because you know tomorrow it's normal life but but, but yes. for the scientists like us you know this five years of your life here right and so tomorrow there may be no data or tomorrow may be very exciting data so tomorrow there will be more people talking about the rover uh, and where it is driving and what data yes. it is collecting right and and they will not have even have time to come up with a press release and that is just reality they have to look at the data they have to analyze it they have to send commands to the rover and they they'll have no time see see when uh, the first mission 1997 that i worked for it was a very small mission it was a 25 million dollar mission um lower budget than chandrayaan um um there was nobody there was nobody to do outreach there was i mean we were doing everything from the website to talking to the media to uh, setting up the uplink commands to um, analyzing the data which comes back so it's very exciting so we didn't sleep like half the nights you know very very short sleep and but it is you 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 survive by the adrenaline um but it's very exciting and everybody was if you i don't know if you uh, i mean this yes, is 97 and it's exciting not back. just for uh, scientists that are involved in this mission scientists like you who are watching from the sidelines but it's an exciting moment for a lot of us uh, for the layman also who doesn't really understand much but it is an exciting moment to be a part of 